Here in this lecture, I am going to explain you how to calculate ADD. So what it is? It is the expected date of delivery or the end date of delivery where your pregnancy is going to be terminate and now uh, you are ready for delivery process. So expected date of delivery or the end date of delivery is also to be termed as EDC that is expected date of confinement where you are confined to one place to take proper rest so that you can avoid the complication that could be associated with pregnancy and labor. So you must take proper rest and confine to one place. So that is the date. So when it is to be expected that should be calculated by a doctor. So this term EDD is used to identify what is the date of delivery in simple mean. So this is the date that actually your doctors calculate once you get pregnant and you visit hospital then your doctor will calculate for you and you uh, get know about the date. But here I am going to explain you a simple formula by which you can also calculate by yourself. So simply before you calculate you must know about the basic one term that is LNMP or the last normal menstrual period or LMP last menstrual period. So what it is? It is the day one of your last menses that stop before you get pregnant. So let's say if you had menstruation in October and in October, 1st October you started with your menstruation. So we know that the duration of menstruation is about 3 to 5 days. So if your menstruation ranges from 1 to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, then we are not taking 4 day 4th of October as a last menses period. No, not at all. We are taking 1st October as an LMP. Okay. Please be noted this carefully. So we take the 1st October as an LMP and from there onwards we will calculate 9 months and then we will add 7 days. Okay. So suppose the 1st October to 1st November, we are calculating like this. 1st October to 1st November is 1 month. Okay. So 1st October to 1st November, November is 1 month, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So 1st of July till that you have 9 months and from th there onwards you will adding 7 more days. So 1st July then if you are adding 7 more days then you will be getting 8th of July. And uh, suppose uh, the year is two, 2021 then automatically it will shift it to the next year okay because uh, October, November, December and then January when it comes then it will be changed okay. So if your LMP is 1st of October 2021 then your EDD would be 8th of July 2022 okay. So in same and similar manner you can calculate by any of the date by just adding 9 months and 7 days. So this is called the Nagel's formula because it is given by a German obstetrician named Franz Karl Nagel's. Okay, uh, there is other method also where we can add plus one year, minus three month, and we can add seven more days to this formula. Okay, plus one year, minus three months, and plus seven days. So uh, let's take the same example like the first October is an LMP. Okay. Then what you can do 1st October 2021 add one year 1st October 2022 okay and then when you will subtract three months then count from October October September August because you are reducing subtracting three months so that's why you are going backward October September August when you are subtracting three three then what you will be getting July so 1st July 2022 then when you are adding more 7 days then you will be getting 8th of July 2022 okay. So by this also you can calculate but the easy method is just adding 9 months and 7 days forward okay. Now sometime the question that came in our mind is that why we are taking first day of last month is why we are not taking the other days because the age that is the gestational age is about 280 days. Or if you are calculating in weeks, then what you will do? Just divide by 7 because in one week there are 7 days. So if you divide to 8 days, you will be getting 40 weeks. So the age or the gestational age or the period is about 280 days 
or 40 weeks and it was almost impossible for every woman that uh, she must be knowing that when she was ovulated it is quite impossible so it is easy that she can remember the date of last menstrual period and when it was started and from there we can easily calculate 9 months and 7 days because when you see in calendar also if you calculate manually the days or the week when you calculate 9 months and 7 days you will automatically get 280 days or 40 weeks okay so this is the actual gestational period uh, by simply adding 9 months and 7 days you will be getting 280 days or 40 weeks so that's why we are calculating from the day 1 of last menstrual period and sometimes the question also came in our mind that uh, some month have 30 days, some month have 31 days and sometime leap year also came. Then what will be happen? In such situations also we calculate in same manner because the results are not so varying. Suppose in leap year what happened? Only one day is more. Then some apps are there that automatically calculate this and give you the exact result. So if you are calculating manually and you are getting more 2 or 3 days or less number of that then these numbers are negligible because in every pregnancy the delivery is not going to be end on same day of EDD. It could be happened before or it could be beyond that. So by this we can easily calculate the expected date of delivery by just adding 9 months and 7 days to the LMP. Thank you.